Well, I'm going to take a ride from this stranger. He said he's taking me for a cruise by the lake. We'll see where he's taking me. Is he trustworthy? Is it safe to just get into a truck with some guy? Oh, well, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's bumpy. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's more scary, driving down here or walking in the middle of the night. Where are you gonna... Driving over our my smile, my new smile. Oh, so the water will be underneath that, huh? Yep. Look at all the wood chips. Oh my god, it's like you got trails going all over. Oh my gosh, I have not driven down here in a long time. I think it was all empty at one point. Oh, what kind of, what is on that tree? Jujube? Jujube. We don't have deer right now. See how it's still got fruit? Yeah. We have to cover that. There's my garden up there. Back side of my garden. The whole truck is falling apart, but he's happy with it. to drive down the track. Look at all the way. Oh, that big tree is the guamachil? Yeah. I've been clearing the pathway here so I can get the wheelbarrow down to bring more wood chips. It's bringing the wheelbarrow down. Look at that. You got paths and everything. This was all nothing. All dried up dead clay. What is that? It's um, a mantis cocoon. Oh, a praying mantis. Let me get in there. Okay, let me go back. I haven't seen it on Careful, a Careful, this is thorny. I know, because it's cutting my arm. So that's a praying mantis cocoon. Yep, and it's well protected. Nothing's going to bother it. That one's ready to go. What a beautiful tree. This was small when you got it. Yeah, it was only maybe two and a half feet long. Little two and a half foot skinny little tree. Wow. It's only been what, two years of that? Two years, yeah. Look at that up on the top. It looks like a donut. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, that one's ready to go too. Okay, now I can't find oh there it is. They grow in a circle. Yeah, they coil. They coil up and they look like a donut. Because I saw another one. So, what were you telling me? This is an asparagus plant. Yeah, this is a, a seed that was dragged here last year. It came up, so it's one year old. So this, this, oh, look at that purple. But you can't eat them till next year? No, you can eat this now if you want it. Otherwise it'll turn into a bush. Otherwise it'll turn green like this. And it, it seems to like it near the base of the avocado. So it's doing well here. Well, and it's just a seed, that, one seed? One seed, come up. That's a big plant for one seed. A year old um, seedling, yeah. Well, it's also under wood a lot of wood chips, too. Yeah, you've got, what, six, eight inches of wood chips here at least? Yeah, here it might be two feet. Two feet of wood chips. Yeah. Wow. So we'll have purple asparagus next year for sure. So that's just one year old. That's one year old. And the ones that I transplanted are over there. They're starting to take off now. But this you get your dragonflies behind you. They just came, they zipped around you. I didn't get it on the camera. And I see now you're soaking and making tea. Yeah, I just poured some out earlier. That's and you got blackberries you don't tell me about. 
Why don't you come down here and feast? I brought some up the other day. Mmm. The little girl I used to pick them at my grandmother's house. My rebar trellis, and it's worked out really well. Oh, that was sweet and good. Oh, what you were saying? It's not hot? No, it's not hot, but it's air, air cooled. Rebar would get hot, but if you lay it on the ground, it gets hot. But if you have it in air where air can flow across it, it's nice. It's warm, but it's not. Hot. It's not going to burn the plants. It's not going to burn the plant. Yeah, you got to be careful what type of metal you use, especially if you're in the desert or if it's hot. This gets hot, but this doesn't. Okay, so the poles will burn the plants, possibly. Yeah, the zinc galvanizing and the size, the volume must hold the heat. And so these are the asparagus you planted? Yeah, some of these are transplanted out of my hot tub. When did you transplant these asparagus? About three or four months ago. And the one that came up from seed grew better? Yeah. That's my theory. That's, that's what I've been thinking. Okay. That's interesting. All right. So that's it for asparagus. And now I'm going to go do something else. Well, now we're at Gary's Pond. Oh, my goodness. It has just barely been a month. How beautiful. Look at how everything's grown. Where's those plants you bought, the water celery? I think online. The plants that I bought from the guy? Yeah. These, these ones. So these are the ones you bought. And those you just planted, those, they're cannas? Yeah, I planted the seeds. These are the seeds you just bought and planted? Yeah, I, a couple of months ago and I... I don't think it's been a couple of months. Well, when I bought the seed, it's been a couple of months. Yeah, but you just planted them. Yeah, well, they sat the, for a while. These are probably six weeks old or so. so. Wow, those are really nice. I, I'll have to move them next year because they'll get to probably six to nine feet tall. You know, I'm going to start screaming if those dragonflies hit me in the head. They're really fighting over territory. They both want the pond. You need another pond in here so they won't fight so much. Yeah, I... These ponds are a hundred bucks a piece at Lowe's and Home Depot. At Lowe's. For the set? Just for without the spillway thing. They're a hundred dollars. They're a hundred dollars, yeah. You know, but they're not bad. We've had them for how many years sitting here? Uh, he gave them to you years ago, didn't yeah, he? And they just sat. Yeah, because this is the plastic, the PVC is um, UV treated, so this will last a long time. The pond liners. Are cheaper and you can get bigger pond liners but I think this is more durable if you sit it on a flat surface yeah I mean you could set it up with a swimming pool and that might last for quite a few years but these things are meant to last 10 20 years and like I said it's been dragged around he had it in his yard just sitting there he didn't set it up and then you brought it here then the small one the spillway one that was in my yard growing celery and Swiss chard in it. Thank goodness you didn't make a hole in it. Yeah. Uh, and then you decided, well, maybe you should pull it out and use it here, and it worked out good. But that's not too bad, $100. And plus, you can probably find them used. Yeah, if you... yeah, and if you're in an area where it's a seasonal item, you could probably find them marked down. And that's in, right. In California, there is no season. People will buy them every year, all year long. Just in case nobody heard that, California, we don't have a season when it comes to ponds because you can do a lot of this stuff all year round but yes in a seasonal area where you get snow and different things they might blow them out then you can find them half price I was concerned about the hair algae but I just pull it out and I use it as green compost so I just oh that would make good compost pulling all the nutrients plus Even. there's a ton of little mosquito fish babies all through this so they've got a place to hide. I don't know how many hundreds of mosquito fish I've got now. Gambusia. They bred that fast? Yeah. So you have sweet potato growing around your pond that you did not plant, correct? I did not plant. I keep moving it. It comes up in the soil. 
because the topsoil here was from my sweet potato patch. Oh my gosh. I know the camera can't pick it up, but this red dragonfly is checking me out. He literally got in my face and just stared at me. Okay, that must be a female. That one's that, not as red. Yeah, that's a female. And she's, what is she doing? I see you're splashing water, but what yeah, is she doing? See the males coming in now? Yes. Oh. She's I'm, trying to drive insects up. Okay, I wasn't sure she was drinking or... She's, uh, she's skimming with a tile to flip the water up and that'll get, that'll disturb any insect that's sitting there. Okay, we do need to set up some chairs here and have coffee here in the morning or even have lunch. Oh my gosh, he is absolutely beautiful. The red is just, it's kind of a red, fiery orange. So he drove the other male away. He won. I know. They fought and fought and fought. And now the male's gone. And now he's got just him and his female. Him and his girlfriend. And he's kind of checking us out like he doesn't know if he wants us here. Of course, we're a lot bigger. So he doesn't know if he wants to drive us away. What he doesn't know is I may be bigger, but I can scream and run too. So he can chase me away if he wants. So the plants that you bought did really well. They came back. Yep, they came back. And then you've got the other water plants. Yeah, the, water, the, water less, the water lettuce produces really well, but it's not edible. It's not edible. No. I like edible, but that's good to have. That's fine. You don't need yeah, to eat good. everything. We got it's more than we for need. The fish. What is this one that's red over here? It's kind of green and red. Looks like it's cool. Horse Parrot feather. That's parrot feather. Okay. Got, Look at that. the bee. He's drinking too. Let's yeah, see if I can. Bees come down and drink. Yeah, he's going down to get water too. This is so pretty and relaxing just to sit here. This is absolutely adorable. This red dragonfly is checking us out. He keeps coming around my head and just literally his big eyes are looking at me. What's in the pot on the other side growing and like a whole bunch in the pot? In the in the pot. In the, in the pot. orange pot. That's I had the name and I can't think. Did you buy it? Did somebody Craig gave it to you. Craig gave it to you, okay. It's a, no, it doesn't matter, I you can't can remember the name of it. I just you know, one it grows in a cluster like that. Yeah. Is it like a tube tuber? Yeah, I think it's got a tuber in the base. That that you grow in a pot. To think this is so off from any electricity and yet you can have the water fountains going on and off all day. As the trees shade it, you know, it goes off and then as the sun comes out again it goes back on. That's just so cool. I think you need a third pump. I'll have to give you a third pump. Because I went nuts and I bought like, I don't know, 10 or 15 of I didn't realize about that many. I bought a whole box full. Because there was a sale one day on eBay where they had 10% on eBay bucks. So you can make the money back. And it was so cheap. The person had it cheap. So it was a combination. Combining the eBay bucks you can make on what you buy. And then also they put a sale on. So then you get double the discount and it works out really good. So I've got a whole bunch. I can bring one down. What I don't have and I never tried are the water fountains, solars that are round disc. The solar panels are on the round disc, kind of like half the size of a normal size pie. And then you just sit them in the pond, but you have no control because they move around and they shoot water in the air and you could end up emptying your pond. I've seen it at the nursery. I had to go out there and tell them that their pond was dry because it moved over and it shot all the water out of the pond. Look at that. Oh, they're mating. They're mating.
keeps coming over and checking me out. That is so cool. It's like, this is my pond, what are you doing here? Well, this is just, just, just gorgeous. This whole thing is so pretty and so, just so relaxing to sit here. Yeah, my small tarot is taken off really well this year. It's doing better than where I had it. The turmeric's doing really well here too. Okay, this well. is all turmeric? Yeah, it does well in with the sweet potatoes. I missed some pieces and it's come up in the sweet potatoes. Where, next to the well, yeah, big here. tree there, okay. And I see some way down there. Yes, my white turmeric. That's white turmeric? Yeah, and this is white turmeric too. I missed, missed some pieces. It's, got, it's a little different in shape. I see you got bananas all over too. Yeah. I was looking up on top there. See, I don't remember seeing a lot of red dragonflies before the pond went in. No. Some of the gray or blue ones I've seen. No, okay, they're gone. They took off. I saw them go up over the wall and they left. I think what was really cool is you've come out here and seen what at night? Bats. <laughs> Bats. If you don't get your footage up soon... tripod's for. Well, if you don't get your footage up soon, I might grab some of your footage and stick a little bit of footage on this. Yeah, he keeps coming to check me out. Like, what, what am I doing here? I see the fish swimming all over, and you said there's tons of babies in there. Well, I should go back in the house and go back to work. This is a, I just can sit and watch him all day. Oh my gosh. You know who'd get a kick out of this? My daughter, Deborah. Deborah would love this because she loves dragonflies. Yeah. I f think I forgot to tell her about the pond with all the dragonflies. He just keeps coming up like he's, he's almost, at, he's acting as if he wants to scare me away from the pond. Look. Yeah. Like, you don't belong here. Go away. It's mine. I don't see the babies, but I see, I see small ones, big ones. And the dragonflies are eating insects, right? Yeah, they're eating probably the mosquitoes and whatever, little midge flies and things. They hang on to the rebar because it's not hot. Yeah. And they won't go on to the other type of metal, like the poles, the fence poles, because they get hot. But they love hanging on to the rebar, and that doesn't get hot. That's really cool. And this is just gorgeous. So have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Say goodbye. Bye.